features in Solid Edge 2023 is the ability to have regions in ordered mode. So an example of where this can be used, um, I have a DWG file here, which I'll open up into a draft file. And um, as you can see, we have um, two views. So I will use under my tools, create 3D, um, choose my um, template file, which is an ordered, and go next. Uh, next step is to choose the um, area that we want to work with and then go next. So that's our front view and then choose the other one. That's our right hand view. I'm going to set a fold line down the middle so we can just use that and then go finish. And as you hopefully have seen before, um, we have a um, couple of sketches placed onto the drawing for me, all aligned and um, centered based on that fold line that I selected. So we are in order, but um, for those of you who haven't really used synchronous, you won't be used to regions so much. So in um, the old ordered environment, we used to have to fully constrain these things to sort of really use them easily. But now I can um, pick a region, hold the control key down, and pick a number of other regions. I can then go to extrude. Um, I've got it set to um, symmetric and these items come out to this point here. Um, then if I ro rotate back again, I can pick a another set of regions, um, just holding the control key down again. And then if I go extrude, um, these ones are just going to come out to this key point here. And if I escape out of that, uh, we have one more region in the middle here. And um, again, we'll just do an extrude, um, sticking with the symmetric. This just needs to come back to this point here. And then I can um, hide my sketches. And as you can see, in the ordered mode, we can create our parts really quickly. And the fact that we don't have to have, um, I, I applied no um, constraints to this. It's just picked up on regions. Um, you can have overlapping geometry. And as you can see now, um, it gives us a lot more flexibility in the ordered environment. And obviously we can still go back and um, modify these features as you would in the um, traditional sense. Another example of using regions, um, if we double click on here, you can see that we have endpoint connections on the lines here and a point on connection here. Um, so you can see that um, we have um, a situation where if you try to use a select from sketch on this um, in the old version, it would fail. But um, what we can do is just select the region and then go to extrude. And um, I'm just going to come out to this other sketch here, which I've um, already created. Um, again, um, if we look at the sketch on here, um, you'll see that we have overlap overlapping geometry, um, which would be a, a, a real problem um, when we have um, the old version. So um, one of the other changes in um, ordered mode with the new version is that we have the um, option of add or cut. So it's automatically um, resorting to a cut for me. Um, so if I turn off the symmetry, Um, you'll see that we can just sort of cut through. Again, we're just using a region. Um, and again, it's not um, fully um, defined as a region. Um, and we can finish on that. So I can then uh, use a control key to select the two different regions in here and accept that and just cut that. Um, I could go um, through next will give me the um, option I'm after. And then finally, um, 
by picking up these two regions, um, I can just um, sort of go through next and that will cut through and give me my um, geometry obviously um, with these sketches they are sort of still um, just sketches so I can still come in here and edit dimensions on these and say so make that 34 wide and the geometry will follow as you would expect in an ordered mode so um, yeah that gives a indication of some of the things that you can do with the regions option in ordered mode with solid edge 2023